And it's like, hey, here's, you know, you can use a heat gauge to do like a crazy heat move, dude. Like, yeah. Get compromised. Oh, that's weird. There's another hitting us, so there it goes. Get compromised. <laughs> What? That was weird. Let's see, isn't there anything else? Oh, is this... Oh, I guess that's just another one. Oh no, get compromised! Yeah, it's like, okay, now beat everybody up! And they're all like, Dory took so much damage, it's just gonna be like, whatever. Like, yeah, I'm cute, dude. Look at me. I'm powerful. And so these guys are like, oh, hey, damn it. I'm like, we'll remember this. And so the kid's like, oh, thank you, sir. And then, like, you know, they, they give you the, the money. And it's like, yeah, all right, cool. Look at you all glowing. <laughs> they overdid the graphics a little bit, but that that's kind of cool, you know. So now you all, your only thing to do is to go and talk to that chowderhead, uh, Ito, I think. And he'll be like, oh, oh, okay, thank you for doing the job, mister. You're the man. There's a cat. And I think that that's the end of the prologue. That's like the little tutorial that's like garbage, useless tutorial. Oh no, wait, that's right. There is, there's another stupid uh, battle tutorial as you go into the friggin... Your place is called the Tatsuya, which means like the dragon ha dragon's house. There they are. Oh, we hate that dude. Not Azumono. <laughs> Not Azumono is like a good for nothing or something. Mm. Now this battle tutorial, what does it want for me? Okay. Okay. You can grab items from people in this game by beating them. Which is, uh, you know, it's... It's different than before, but you... And in fact, if you go to 3 doesn't even really have this, but it's kind of cool. Because then you can just, like, uh, see when people... You're like, oh, that guy's probably has something on him, and you just, like, knock it off him. And that's because you equip a lot more than you, than you do in the other games. And, uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, shifting. Oh, no, that's guarding. Come on, attack! <laughs> Will he ever attack? Oh, come on, get compromised. Oh, you have to be facing people that block and patch. You don't have to when you have two swords. Get compromised. Get compromised, come on! God, I should have played on a fucking EX hard. Look at these morons. Oh, there we go. Finally! It's like, please uh, attack me? That's one of the things that it, it affects. Is okay, now here's like shifting. You just do it for the number of seconds. I think it's like 10 seconds. Look at how weird he was. Oh no. Oh no, what are you guys gonna do? Crazy legs is here. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Next comes the sidestep. You have to sidestep their attacks. I don't know, I guess not. You can just do it. And it also tells you, like, hey, you can roll. You can do, like, backflips. You can... Oh! You know, whatever. And then finally, it's like, you can beat dudes up. I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, there's one thing I messed up already. You don't want the last guy you beat to be the guy carrying an item. Because then you won't get it. Wow, it's already 20-something minutes. I guess I've been babbling like an idiot and showing you everything. And, uh... Oh, no! How dare you beat us? We're so sad now. You know, whatever. Um, now what? Oh yeah, now I'm like, hey, fuck those dudes, so I'm gonna go talk to Ito. And he's like, hey, dude. And then, like, uh, you know, he pays you a little bit of money. Gives you a little scratch for that, you know. Whatever. You didn't really do much. It's like, hey, could you go grab money from these three dudes? It's like, you didn't even really have to fight them so much or anything. <laughs> and he's like, oh, there's something going on over there. And this is the part where you meet Haruka, who is this girl who's in every single Yoga 2 game. And, um, she's demanding to, to meet with you, and he's like, what the hell? And, uh, she tells you, like, she's gonna pay you one ryo. Uh, no, 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 she tells you she's gonna, she's gonna, um, she wants you to kill the person who has that sword. She shows you the sword, and he's like, oh, whoa, and she's like, oh, isn't it Miyamoto Musashi? And he's like, dude, uh. And I don't think it matters how you answer here. Does it? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you just say whatever and she'll just be like, oh, I need to kill him, you know. 
trust to kill him because he he killed her parents apparently. And that's that's weird to him. He's like, "What? You want to kill Miyamoto Musashi?" Uh, hmm. And then like this part is like some super cinematic part where they're talking. It's kind of <laughs> goofy. This was in Ryugo to 3 also, and it sucks because you have to wait for them to like move around a lot. Anyway, so she goes to. Is this the part? I'm trying to remember. Isn't this where she goes and. I think she goes in like a. Oh, she shows him the sword and he he looks at it and he's. He's kind of like, huh. Please kill me, about Musashi. I don't I don't remember if it happened yet, but she's gonna sell herself so that she can um so that she can um she's gonna go sell herself to a brothel so that she can you know like pay for it. Eto. Hey? Well I guess I'll make a new save. She's gonna go sell herself for a brothel to to make up for the one real which is like a uh, ten thousand bonus. It's not very much money. It was actually like what, like maybe about half of a yearly salary for most people. But okay, so now that all that's done, first chapter, Miyamoto Musashi. And so here we go. This is like uh, Musashi's little little land here. Where he has he apparently has a dojo, even though it's, at this time in in reality, he would have been, like, you know, 13 or some ridiculous young age. But in this, it's, you know, it's it's highly fictionalized, of course. That's okay. You know, um, even even people tell me all the time, they're like, well, in the real thing, didn't he fight Sasaki Kojiro? It's like, well, not really, actually. the There's a few different historical accounts of it, and he doesn't mention the duel himself in his only work of fiction, I mean, work of a like his only biography, so it's like, why? Why do they think it happened? Just because of some kind of local folklore. Another thing is like the, the main people that he fought, the Shizuokas. They, I mean, Shizuokas. What the hell's wrong with me? Um, they're not sure if they really existed, and I mean, it's it's just all kinds of weird nonsense. Um, but anyway, this guy shows up. His name is Madame, and he has something to tell you about. But first, your students all like want you to show them stuff. This is going to be your tutorial for how to use. Weapons, basically, more fighting tutorial. And I think first they would want you to switch weapons, switch styles, and you can do that to draw your weapon, then put it back. Oh, that by the way, <laughs> so dumb, is hitting a direction on the D-pad. You see up there where there's like a sword and like the right. Now I put it away. It'd be like a there's like a little. D pad there and right shows a sword and down shows a hand. Watch this. <laughs> like, Sugoi! <laughs> he knows how to draw a sword and then put it back in his sheath. <laughs> Even I can do that, dude. Anyway, um, this guy comes up. What does he want you to do? I can't remember what this chatterhead wants you to do. What does he want? Oh, he just wants you to. He just wants you to, this is a three hit string. With square. Square are your weak attacks, you should, well, weak and fast, you know. Oh, so good. That that one is kinda like, okay, at least he's doing something, you know what I'm saying? You know? And then it's like, hey. I can't remember what it is. I think uh Oh. In single sword style, whenever you're in a string if you hit triangle, you do like this kind of rush through the guy. It's actually really useful. I use this style more than any other style in the game. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm fucking Sugoi, dude. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, I'm destroyed. I think uh, it's one of these will teach you how to kick. You don't throw when you have a sword, obviously. Oh, this is just like, guard! Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Yay! Oh my god, that was crazy! 